Hello vetmates! Today we will talk about the national fish of the Philippines and its external and internal anatomy. Bangus, also known as milkfish, belongs to the family Chanidae and its scientific name is Chanos Chanos. Milkfish is an adaptable and sturdy fish that can thrive in fresh water, brackish water, and marine habitats. Milkfish or bangus culture is the largest finfish aquaculture industry in the Philippines. First, we will identify the positioning of the fish. This includes the ventral, dorsal, posterior, and anterior parts. Open and close the fish's mouth to observe the actions of mandible and maxilla. During the opening of the fish's mouth, the mandible, which is the primary moving part, moves downward and forward, creating a space between the jaws. This movement allows water intake and capture of prey. When closing the mouth, the mandible moves upward and backward, bringing the jaws back together. Place a probe in the fish's mouth and gently push it through the operculum. Through this, you can observe the gill arches. Now for the external parts of the head, we have the mouth, maxilla, mandible, eyes, and operculum. The mouth of bangus is small, terminal, and toothless. The eyes of milkfish are large and covered with a thick layer of gelatinous tissue. The operculum is a bony flap that protects the fish's gills. It opens and closes to allow water to pass over the gills. The body is elongated, fusiform, compressed, and symmetrical. For the external parts of the body, we have the lateral line, anterior dorsal fin, posterior dorsal fin, caudal fin, anal fin, anus, pelvic fin, and pectoral fin. Dorsal fin is located at the back of the fish and helps with balance during swimming. Anal fin is found on the underside of the milkfish and help keep a fish upright when turning abruptly. The pelvic fin is located behind the pectoral fins and help in stability and slowing down. This fin is used for moving upward and downward. The pectoral fin is located on the side of the body and used for steering and locomotion. To further examine the gill arches, remove them by cutting its dorsal and ventral attachment. Gills are the organs located on the side of the fish's head. Gill filaments provide a way for oxygen exchange in a fish. We also have the gill arch, which is usually shaped like a boomerang. Remove a fish scale. You can use a microscope to take a closer look of the scale. Bangus is completely covered by small silver scales. Scales are external structures that cover the fish's body. This serves mainly for protection against predators and environmental factors. The first incision is made along the dorsal side of the fish. A second incision should begin on the ventral surface forward the anus. When the gills are reached, a cut upward behind the gills will be the third incision. The last incision is made connecting the caudal ends of the first and second incisions.
The digestive system of bangus includes the mouth, which is the opening used for ingestion of food. The food travels through the esophagus towards the stomach. The liver, which is responsible for detoxification, lipid metabolism, and immunity. Bile from liver facilitate easier digestion and absorption. Stomach, the organ where food is digested with digestive enzymes. The small and large intestines where nutrients are absorbed and the anus where waste exits the fish. The respiratory system of bangus is similar to that of other fish species. Gills serve as an organ of respiration. Water flows over the gills, oxygen diffuses into the bloodstream while carbon dioxide diffuses out. Operculum, again, is the bony flap that serves as protection for the fish's gills. The reproductive organs of a fish are called gonads. They are located next to the stomach near the middle of the body. In females, the ovaries produces eggs. The eggs develop and mature within the ovaries until they are released during the spawning season. In males, the testis produces sperm. The primary excretory organ in fishes is the kidney. Kidneys of fish are typically narrow, elongated, and found just ventral to the vertebral column. It is important in removing water that passively enters the gill through generation of dilute urine. Thank you.